Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some more 2K23 leaks. Apparently a leak demo on August or in August. But yeah, we finna go over all of this um apparently leaked news. We got some park and affiliation hints and all that, man. But anywho, before we get into that, make sure y'all drop a like on the vid, man. It helps out the vid a lot. Subscribe if you're new, turn the notice. But yeah. So Young Luck tweeted out, possibly a NBA 2K23 demo, August 23rd, sources say, was posted and deleted shortly after. I've also seen this on TikTok. For some reason, Luck is always popping up on my timeline. Y'all let me know if he's always popping up on your timeline. I might as well follow him. But um, I'm just here to let y'all know this is fake. He then typed under it later that this is fake. This does seem Photoshop. I don't know what y'all are doing with all this uh, news. Y'all are tripping, man. But let me know down below if um you would want a demo for 2K. Um, I think a lot of y'all are stupid by saying you don't want a demo. I can give you a recent example, Multiverse. I don't know if y'all played that game, but they released multiple betas. There's a beta going on right now right before the game comes out. They're given access to all these people to play the game. Why do you think that is? Because they have to earn the viewer. They have to earn the consumer. 2K doesn't, they just got it like that because there's no competition. But real games, they, you know, they're like, oh, we putting out a good product, test it for us. Oh, we gonna work out some kinks. Y'all let us know what you don't like. So then they don't have a bad release day. You feel me? Y'all are dumb saying you don't want a demo because people are gonna complain about it and then all this stuff's gonna get pa patched and all that. Isn't that good? You, you fucking idiot. It's gonna get patched either way, right? I mean, don't you want the kinks ranked out before the game come out? The servers to be tested before the game come out? Don't you want things to be refined before the game comes out, you dumb niggas? 2K21 next gen, if they had a beta, right a demo we could have saved the game from being ran by them six seven demigod power forwards and then that would have been a real dope builder you know there's other instances bro i mean y'all are y'all 2k like what side are y'all on bro are you sucking billion dollar dick for um getting paid for it not at all at least the weird ass creators that do it they they uh you know, they're getting a logo or some weird shit, but a lot of you niggas be defending this game and getting nothing from it, boy. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> so, anywho, man, Vang tweeted out, you back? Mike Wang says, almost. So, Michelle Wang is finna drop a lot of um info, man, and we are gonna go over every last drop, so make sure y'all drop them noties, and um, let's see what Mike Wang is gonna lie about this year. <laughs> y'all, let me know if y'all excited, man. Let's let let's see the the words he uses to you know really get us in the groove to just be you know ah. So young LD man, my favorite dev, responded to a tweet. Okay, I'm gonna really break this down. I'm going to really break this down for y'all, man. He responded to a tweet that was like four months ago or some shit. Four or five months. I don't, I don't know, right? There's no reason to respond to this. If y'all know um, anything, Shake was the only one, the only 2K creator got flown out to the 2K event, the Summer League thing. They didn't know other creators. They just did a bunch of celebrities that barely promoted their game and had a little event and he was the only one that came back with gameplay feedback and all of that stuff like really in depth so it seems like they are his golden boys so maybe ld you know responded to this to give us the vibes that this is going to happen in 2k23 or he's just fucking tripping you know y'all let me know which one you think it is but um let's go over this real quick so shakedown says I would love it if NBA 2K made the city different by location rather than by mascot. Uh, I don't too much care about that. Um, I see a lot of people getting excited about this, but I mean, the location or mascot is completely irrelevant to me, man. All like the parks has got to be super dope. And it's a good idea that they made a mascot like represent 
you know, um, the affiliations. They they executed affiliations completely wrong, by the way. They didn't do what we wanted. But um, and y'all are dumb if y'all want affiliations removed for what? What's the point of removing affiliations? Like niggas have to be stupid. What is the point? What's the point of removing them? There's no point. <laughs> what is wrong with niggas? But he said, it would feel like you're actually going somewhere different every time you played. It worked for 2K15 through 2K17. Now, they're probably doing this now. Let's blow this picture up, man. First off, these words are like crazy, right? Um, before we get into the affiliation, let's talk about this. Which of the four would you select? I know all you niggas are gonna pick from the hood because everybody's from the hood, my nigga. Apparently, everyone has all these racks. They live in the hood. They're raised in the hood. They're not no soft ass suburban nigga. Everyone's from the hood. Everyone has racks. Everyone has so much money, but they didn't upgrade their life at all. <laughs> so you know this gonna be the most over flooded shit and I would roast any nigga that is in the hood, you bitch ass niggas. The whole point is to get out that shit. You pussy niggas. You niggas romanticize the fucking struggle. It be to where niggas who are fortunate their whole life try to go to the hood and live there or rep all that type of, you know, that whole situation. I would probably go to, you know, either the beach or the suburbs, man. You know, living the good life. Don't wanna live in no fucking hood, nigga. You fucking scoundrel. But it would be so funny. Like if they like really use these type of words, I guarantee you everyone would go to the fucking hood. But anywho, I mean, they might do this in 23, bro. Like something of the sort, but they, 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 they did it all wrong. Like for instance, the reason the affiliations was cool in the, you know, the golden era of 2K is cause you got a little ability, you, you know, the, the, the ball was on fire type shit when you're dribbling around as a flyer the rim would shake you and then the ball would be on fire when you would shoot on sunset if you were a part of that all they have to do is add different abilities to niggas like affiliation and then like shit like that and it'll be cool like little effects you can since it's a new age you know this is like eight 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 years in the future Add like four or five effects for each different niggas and shit and have them have like four different mascots to represent every single thing. And first off, you niggas that want one fucking park or one neighborhood, you're fuck. I know the city's ass, but the city is better than one fucking park. OK, it's better than one park. Fucking 2K18, 19, and 20 is not better than the city. There's no way y'all niggas think that shit. Or at least the city in 2K22. Y'all probably don't know, but they fixed it to where, for instance, this Vipers area is one park. This is, oh, uh, who's Beast? It's one park. Knights is one park. Wildcats is one park. In 21, all of this was one park. But now it's one park. Or it's one server, right? So this is one server. It's not all of this one server. All they have to do is fill it up with more people and then it'll be even better. You actually get way more games than on current gen. Um, they turn you around, they do other different type of things and there's other things they could do to make it go even better. The reason the gold, older 2Ks were better was because everyone loads in, plays the game, but now they're doing all this sponsorship bullshit. But y'all have to understand, they're never going to let that shit go. So it's either y'all have the one park or the city, but then the one server city. If they do the one server city, it's fine. You can now spawn in to each of these areas. You can spawn in and play the park right there. Like right there, bro. You literally can. You don't have to ride around or none of that shit. Um... They, they greatly improved it. I don't like the city, all these dim, but they're not gonna let this go, bro. They want the same success of GTA and all that. Y'all might as well accept it, my boy, and just try and get it approved. But, um, you know, try to get them to have less courts, right? More people in the server for, you know, an individual area. 
and then bam i don't want one fucking park all year that's dumb as fuck at least have four different parks or however many different parks and make it to where it's easy, fast travel type shit but yeah man di different environments is dope and they can have a bunch of events with all the different old parks that we had from you know the 14 all the way to goddamn 2k20 you know they could literally be individual events they self and you know i i think they they're, they're they're just doing it wrong they're doing it wrong and like for instance like um the different affiliations could have takeover benefits if y'all play 2k22 uh next gen you'll see that you had so many different takeovers right um like no 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 you had different takeover perks right they could apply these perks to each different affiliation like each one could have three different takeover perks i mean but still balance the gameplay because i don't want it broken but i mean make it interesting bro so people can make content off this shit but it's like you, you hear what i'm saying i'm coming up off this off the fly i did not plan this this is how pathetic these devs are my nigga like this is off the fly i didn't even think about this i just came up with that you know make it a reason why we have affiliations the mascots make it cool interesting and dope nigga they're doing it wrong there's no reason to do away with something to make something less but um yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about it <laughs> But yeah, then um, Badge Plug responded and said, LD? And then he quote tweeted, did LD2K just drop a huge 2K23 bomb? Replying to a four month old tweet? Hey, Badge, I ain't gonna let you, I ain't gonna hold you. This heated nigga, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you cause you got this heat. I don't fuck with that nigga heated. And for y'all niggas that watch Naruto, you know what that bitch did. That shit made me cry, nigga. I'm a grown ass man. That shit made me cry. I get emotional anytime I even see it, just a little bit. That shit, that shit hurt me. That's one of the most painful deaths in my life. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but look, then LD says no. So maybe he fucked up or maybe he just talking. But then he says, I think no. I don't know though. Hmm. <laughs> He's trying to mind fuck us. Honestly, can't wait to learn more about 2K23. Like you all, keep us updated as I subscribed and liked. Okay. So, he could be telling the truth because y'all know the devs, they don't be knowing about the game because you see Ronnie, you know, if that's a neighborhood, <laughs> you, you could think whatever you want. Whatever the fuck he said, that quote, uh, they don't be keeping niggas in the loop. So maybe he doesn't know or maybe he does know. Who the fuck knows? Y'all let me know what you think. Then Bad says, LD, you're a funny guy. The young Chris says, tell my wife that. Shit don't hit like that for her anymore. Damn, LD, she ain't fucking with the jokes? Hey, man, gotta get her to, to, to fuck with the jokes, my boy. This guy responds to fucking LD and says, stop ignoring the kids, LD. Then he puts this, why? Fun fact, when Future was a little kid, he asked Scottie Pippen for an autograph, and he said no. 20 years later, Future slept with his wife and is now the reason they're divorced. Wow. Did this really happen? There's no way. There's no way. Future, you got issues if you did this shit, dog. I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. And fuck this bitch right here, you stupid bitch. You made me. You're one of the reasons Scottie Pippen isn't my favorite player anymore. I can't have a fucking rapper saying he fucked my favorite player's wife and rapping about it, dissing this nigga. And then the documentary came out and they used to punch and beat on this nigga. Like, he can't be my favorite player no more. Y'all niggas ruined that shit for me. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Uh, hit that like button. Helps out the vid a lot. Turn on them notice. I'll be covering all the 2K23 news, best builds, best dribble moves, best jump shots, hilarious toxic gameplay, and all that, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Hey, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.